Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching for today. So few days before we released our new video regarding how you can enable the maximum FPS, whether it's 120 or 90 as per your device capacity for BGMI or PUBG. The video got very popular. You can check its link from the video description. But I got the mixed reaction about the video. For some devices that 212 worker, but for some other devices it doesn't at all. I am genuinely trying to help the viewers who tried the method, but it didn't work. And they thought it's just a clickback video, but actually it's not. I thoroughly tested that and it worked for some of my devices like OnePlus 9RT and Poco X2. Today we came with another method, hope this can help for the user who didn't got the 90 or 120 FPS in their devices after trying the old video tutorial. At the start of this video, you've seen the clip of gameplay where I am successfully able to play BGMI with 120fps on my OnePlus 9RT in the lobby, in the game combat or everywhere in the gameplay. This method will enable the Extreme Plus option in the graphics setting that can help you to play the BGMI at the maximum fps that your device supports. At the end of this video, I discuss some key points for proper working of this mod and the device's name for which this method worked and for which it didn't. So watch this video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. It's a new So to use this method, we need to download some applications. First one is the 90fps plus 120fps and iPad view application from the Play Store. Its link is available under the video description. Next you need to download and install the Suzuki application. After this you have to install the Termux terminal emulator application. Links of all the applications are given under the video description. Next enable the developer setting by tapping the 8 times on your build number available under the video description. I didn't show this here, hope you already know how to enable this. Once all the application got installed, first connect your device to any Wi-Fi network available around you. Once it's got connected, open the Suzuki application. Now tap on the pairing, give notification access to the Suzuki application, then tap on the developer setting, it will redirect to the developer option. There search for the wireless debug enable, this toggle, accept the prompt. Tap on the wireless debug option, here select the pair device with the pairing code option. Immediately you will get the Suzuki prompt to enter the pairing code, enter the same code and tap arrow key next to it. Now go back to the Suzuki application and then tap on the start button. Immediately you will see some codes will run in the command window in the Suzuki application. At the top of the Suzuki, now it will show you the Suzuki is running with the 1.3.5 ADB or the root method. Now go back, keep the Suzuki application open. Now let's open the 90FS application. Immediately on the home screen of the application, it will ask to choose between the two options. First one is the save method and another one is Suzuki method. Some ads will run by the application. You have to watch them and then skip them. Next, it will again ask to watch video tutorial created by the app developer, but actually I watched it and it's very confusing and there are no any clear processes were mentioned in the video. So I created this video for clear understanding of users. Now at the top of the application, you will see all the versions of BGMI that is Korean, Global, BGMI, Taiwanian and the Vietnami. So this method should work for all the versions of the BGMI or the PUBG. You have to choose proper version of your game application. Here I am using the BGMI. I will select it. Now I got the two options. One is to enable the 90fps and another one is to unlock the iPad mode. First we will enable the 90fps. Now application will again show you that. Watch them fully. Don't skip. Otherwise this method will not work. Once done you will see the 90fps unlocking like message on the screen. Once it gets finished, now to unlock the iPad you have to slide this bar. Now at the bottom you get the toggle to enable the floating sync bar to enable or disable the iPad view icon. Immediately when you toggle this on, you have to give the permission to the application for the display or the other application. Once everything gets done, then you get the option to launch the game. Tap on it and it will directly open the game application. 
I did hold the process on my nothing phone one. Game sidebar showing the game FPS as the 120 FPS, but it's fluctuating for now. On the top left corner, you get the iPad view or lever button to change the screen size of the gameplay. Under the game graphics, now you got the extreme plus FPS setting for the smooth graphics. At the end of this video, I will tell you this mod is working for nothing phone one or not. But I did the whole the same steps on my OnePlus 9 RT, and here are the results. I gone through lobby in the actual gameplay, and the game FPS still near by 120 FPS. If you think while playing the combat in the gameplay, FPS will go down. I played the whole gameplay on 120 FPS. Yes, it will fluctuate, but it's still the game FPS remain near by 120 FPS all the time for all the activities in the game. What is the iPad view? It is a screen size that gives your mobile phone the 90 angle like iPad for wider view in the gameplay, which is not available in the normal screen resolution of phone display. So you can use this screen resolution slider by tapping on the 90 FPS icon from the top left corner. You can change the screen resolution whatever you feel comfortable to play the gameplay with the good accuracy. Now let's check out some important points for proper working of this mod. Please don't change the graphics setting after applying the mod. Keep it at the smooth plus extreme plus FPS. Otherwise mod will get deactivated. Next, always keep the Suzuki application in the memory. Remove it from the battery optimization setting to avoid its force closing in the background. Next, always keep your device connected to the Wafa network to which you paired the Suzuki for wireless debug activation. Otherwise Suzuki will be get disabled. So lastly, on which devices this mod worked? For me, only OnePlus 9 RT supported this mod. OnePlus Nord 2 and Nothing Phone 1 still showing me the 60fps in the gameplay. But as per the developer of this application, though the system will show you the lower fps, the mod is working and you will feel the smoothness of maximum fps on your device while playing the game. At the same extent, I failed the same. Game really ran very smoothly even though the FPS seems lower after applying this mod. So my request for all the viewers is that please try this at your own and let us know in the comment section which device you are using and if this mod is working for you or not. That's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.